Do you know the joy when you receive a package, especially when it's actually a treasure? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My treasure! I can't wait to see it! Let's go to the beginning of the story when the treasure was actually just an idea. I've had an idea in my head to design a new family of climbing holds for a long time. I started with something simple, aesthetical, functional and universal. Thanks to my friends from Euroholds, I could turn my vision into reality. Desde un primer momento Adam quería hacer unas presas muy técnicas. El primer boceto que nos envió por correo Eh, tenía una combinación entre ángulos, anotaciones en varios colores, eh, letras latinas y griegas y no acabábamos de entender muy bien qué es lo que quería conseguir. A partir de ese momento empezamos a trabajar mejor las formas, a definir y eh, mezclar esas líneas rectas de la primera idea con unas formas curvas, ergonómicas y que fueran realmente agradables a la vista. Realmente el trabajo que hay detrás es increíble, increíble porque eh, ha habido que estudiar cada ángulo, cada diseño, cada logo donde iba, todo. Y eso ha llevado pff, semanas de trabajo y de, y de esfuerzos a nuestro equipo de diseño. Primero fabricamos la pieza estructural. Esta pieza estructural está fabricada con poliuretano, que es un, un material que le va a dar mucha resistencia. Previamente, a los moldes le hemos puesto unas capas de, de fibra de vidrio y esto le va a dar una rigidez elevada. Este proceso requiere de mucha más precisión y al mismo tiempo nos va a dar unas características diferentes a las del poliuretano estándar y es que las piezas son mucho más rígidas y son mucho más ligeras. Eh, hemos tenido que perfeccionar cada proceso, cada paso para hacer un producto que esté a la altura de la persona con la que estábamos colaborando. Claramente es Adam, es una leyenda y queríamos hacer algo a su altura. <laughs> I really like the layback. Well, it's pretty obvious that brick is the pinch. Wide pinch, narrow pinch. And I believe that pinch is actually the most ultimate and complex hold that there is. You still need the finger power and the harder it is, the more hell you have to give it, the harder you have to pinch. But pinch is not only about the finger strand, it's also about the core and it's also about finding the body position, so it really shows how well you are climbing. Tím, že každý ten chyt má jin, jiný sklon, tady je třeba 60 stupňů a 50 stupňů, tak tohle jsem ještě jako neviděl, že by to bylo. A myslím si, že tyhle chyty jsou skvělý v tom, že jednak můžou se použít na stěnu a jednak třeba i na kampus, že čistě potom můžeš jako zhybovat, kampusovat a v tom si myslím, že je to super, ten chyt, no. You have the whole boulder in your mind now, before starting to put the, the first boulder, no. All only, the only some, you are, some you are doing you. moves, you are yeah. doing moves, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But brick is also a sloper when you put into horizontal way. Slopers come in various sizes. Small sloper is very different to huge sloper. Small sloper is still mostly about the finger power. Big sloper is much more physical, much more about the body tension and much more about the perfect position of the shoulder. The problem is huge slopers are really expensive and they take so much space off your wall. A brick 
climbs like a huge sloper, but it's cheaper and it doesn't take that much space. Určitě z toho dou postavit cesty jak těžký, tak i lehký. Záleží do jakého sklonu se ty chyty dají. Tím, že každý chyt má jiný sklon, tak přesně podle toho můžu tvořit tu cestu třeba stavět sedmičku nebo osmičku. A myslím si, že z toho jde postavit jak třeba 9C cestu, tak i obyčejný 5A. And all the trick is in the glassy edge of the sloper. Because it's glassy, you can't rely too much on the edge and all the power you have to give against the surface of the sloper. Mě jako stavěče na tom baví to, že z jedné strany je vždycky ten chyt, kde se drží a zbytek je z duálu. To znamená, že když já ten chyt dám na tu stěnu, a nechci, aby mi lesci šlapali na, nahoru, tak proto je tam ten duál. A to mě jakoby v tom baví, že můžu toho lesce donutit přesně tam stoupnout, kde já potřebuju. The glassy edge has some other consequences. First consequence is much different heel hooking. Again, you cannot really just rely on the edge because that one is glassy and slippery, you really have to be much more precise. And heel hooking in the modern bouldering is the most basic technique. And if you want to climb on the bricks, you have to be much more of a master of a heel hooking. Another consequence is the toe hooking. The very same situation, you just cannot rely on the edge because in that case, it can slip easily. You have to create much more power with your toes as an opposition against the surface of the hold. Ultimately, if you make so-called bicycle, that is a toe from the top and another foot as a toe hook, again, you cannot really just rely on the edge and you have to be much more precise and much more careful. The holds are also perfectly symmetrical. You can always read what kind of inclination it is on each side, and that makes it really easy and simple to set a mirror problems. Tady za náma můžete vidět symetrický boulder. Ty chyty nám umožňují to, že všechny chyty jsou stejně široký nebo nebo dlouhý, takže můžeme ten boulder postavit stejně jak z levé strany a z pravé strany. Ten symetrický boulder se dělá i z toho důvodu, abychom zapojovali jiné skupiny svalu. To znamená, že z pravé strany třeba máme silnější svaly, když to lezeme ten boulder, zatímco když to zkoušíme z té levé strany, tak nám to nemusí vůbec jít. Takže abychom vyzkoušeli ob, obě dvě varianty, tak je skvělý naučit se to na obě dvě strany. It is also very skin friendly pinch because if you climb on the pinches a lot, this part of the hand is not very well prepared because here the skin is very fragile and not very thick. So it's very important to have both of the edges slippery and glassy so you save your skin in this part.
Tyhle chyty jsou univerzální jak na cesty s lanem, tak i na bouldering. Jsou super v tom, že se dají použít jak na silový boulder, tak i nějaký techničtější, jak můžete vidět za mnou, který obsahuje prvky moderního boulderingu. Takže se z toho opravdu dá postavit jak skok, tak nějaký koordinačně technický boulder, kde jenom ty chyty můžeme dát na stupy a různě pobíhat přes, přes ně doleva doprava. Bricks are very universal. It's great for slabs or big overhangs. It's great for easy boulders or even hard boulders, bouldering or sport climbing. You can just build your training out of bricks. People start trying my problem and I think the holds are working really well for all the levels and that's important. So what are you waiting for? Let's build your training out of bricks.